How should MGTOWs live? Now, these are just suggestions. I'm, I'm a firm believer that MGTOWs should do whatever we want to do. We should be all about casting off societal norms and cultural expectations. So take this video with that grain of salt. At no time should you feel that there are things you have to do or that you cannot do. This is just simply a guide. With that in mind, here are my suggestions on how we should live. MGTOWs should work to be financially stable and independent. The greatest times of my life have been when I have had plenty of money and that comes with being disciplined. So let's start with debt. Don't use credit cards. We all know that they steal our wealth and promote an undisciplined approach to finances so stay away from them or pay them off immediately electronically. For young men especially, that first credit card can be sort of a rite of passage. I, I, I'm, I'm an adult now. I, I, I'm finally trusted with a credit card. It, it's, it's, it's not a status symbol. All it is is it's a way for you to, to be seduced into uh, getting yourself into trouble financially. So just stay away from them if you can. For luxury items, consider saving up the money and then paying with cash. For larger purchases like vehicles that you would rather not wait to get, try to afford a payment plan that allows you to pay off the vehicle quickly, like within a year or two. And rather than buying the current year model, find one in the same body style that is maybe two or three years old with low miles. For housing, try to live way beneath your means. Consider a roommate situation in a nicer place rather than trying to swing an entire dwelling on your own. If you want to buy a residence, always come in with 20% down and your closing costs because this will eliminate mortgage insurance, which can be a substantial bump in your annual cost without really doing anything but transferring wealth from you to an insurance company. MGTOWs should continue their education. Personally, I have given up a great job that made a great living for me, and I put that aside to finish my education. We need more doctors, MBAs, engineers, lawyers, and scientists in our ranks. If school is not your thing or you work in a mechanical field, try to work on certifications or licenses that are relevant to advancing your chosen career path. MGTOWs will gain more power when we have more money. It's, it's, it's just that simple. So continue advancing your career path through education if at all possible. Learn to cook. I know that most men already have a good handle on cooking, but I, I would suggest cutting your expenses by not eating out as much. A premium meal can cost twenty to thirty dollars and sometimes more in a restaurant. That same meal cooked at home is, is half the cost or, or even less than half and is oftentimes superior quality. We're talking prime steaks, shellfish, seafood, all of these can be had in most regions at a fraction of restaurant costs. Don't go to bars. They are an absolute money sink and I understand the social aspect and if face-to-face -face social interaction is something you want more of just join an organization that provides this not only will you pay exorbitant prices for your favorite beer or cocktails at a bar the biggest money sink is getting stopped for DUI <laughs> society wants to nail you especially if you're a man have good boundaries when it comes to women as you follow these suggestions, you will automatically have more disposable income and women will come around. Never, ever let a woman move in with you. They're going to like being with you and they're going to like hanging out at your house because everything is nice and it reeks of success. They are going to be, they're going to want to be around that. Keep that under control don't let them manipulate you into a situation where you are beholden to them never do anything for a woman that is expected do things for them if you are so inclined 
but not out of a sense of duty or expectation. If they don't like it, you're better off without them around, I assure you. And finally, enjoy the spoils of your financial discipline. Go see the world. Treat yourself to luxuries that you have earned. Take lots of pictures and post it on Facebook or Twitter. Let the world know that this idea that because you're a bachelor that you, you live a life of solitude and sadness is a bunch of manipulative crap. And it's aimed directly at young men who think the bachelor lifestyle takes a backseat to a traditional one. Let these young men know that not only is it a fantastic life of freedom, but being single is also a life of success. So thanks for listening.